Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Sometimes applying for government benefits can be a lengthy and complicated process. The Government of Canada's vision is to enable Canadians to use trusted digital identities for quick and easy access to online services. Emily's having a baby soon and is applying for benefits. Today, she has to complete an online application form, then wait 5 to 10 days for an access code. When it arrives in the mail, she will use it to create an account and set up direct deposit. What if she could do all this at once, from any device? She'd confirm who she is using her provincial or territorial trusted digital ID, consent to using personal information from her digital ID, and may choose to receive notifications. Once approved, she'd decide how to get paid. That's it. The government's goal is to enable simple, fast, and convenient access to services anytime, anywhere, on any device. We're working with government and the private sector to build the foundation and standards for digital identity across Canada and internationally. The future is closer than you think. Oh, hello, Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations unto the elect. And of course, Shalak Rayam to you, demons. For those of you not up to speed, last week, Canadian Prime Minister, who I've uh, had the quote unquote pleasure of speaking to on more than one occasion, Justin Trudeau announced his administration is working on a new federal digital identity program in conjunction with Klaus Schwab and the uh, World Economic Forum. Now, the only thing new about this initiative is the moniker, the agenda itself falls under. Of course, I'm talking about the New World Order. This particular electronic program is actually several several years in the, in the making. And confirmation of that is all over the net. I mean, matter of fact, the, the idea to create a universal meaning to be utilized by all of humanity globally, digital proof of identity network and uh, database was thought up long before George Bush Sr.'s uh, speech on the need to form one world governance or his reference to uh, Babylon's, which we know in the, in the Bible speaks to uh, America today. Its ability to organize and align as a nation, he uh, described it on more than one occasion as a thousand points of light. Both inferences are based on Masonic principles. And I say that to say, again, this has been a long standing desire for Esau to establish himself as a God before anything else, which is essentially what being a master Mason is about by controlling every thinking and uh, breathing human being under a one world digitized system. What's my saying? Uh, let's talk more scripture. So let's go to uh, Genesis 11 and 4. We'll start off there. And it reads, And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Uh, this is the first concept of a new world order and a one world society when you go into the hebrew for name in this verse instantly we see the name of our forefather shem in the uh, english version of the scriptures zephaniah 3 and 19 in particular speaks of the prophets of the lord receiving praise and fame the transliteration of the word fame there should be interpreted in the hebrew as shem meaning name the uh, connotation is to magnify in reputation here in the Strong's, although the Hebrew here is said to speak to shame, the uh, definition itself speaks to the same idea, to mark or uh, memorialize um, an individual or memorial of individuality by implication, honor, fame, renown, or report, which speaks to the idea of establishing oneself as an authority, in layman's terms, a God. 
This was the intention of the people under the rulership of Nimrod, who is likened to Lucifer and, the, and uh, praised by our present day world leaders in their occult circles as the first Freemason. This is conspiracy fact, not theory, fact. The uh, EU uh, parliament building along with the murals hung on its walls in Strasbourg attest to that. Uh, let's go to uh, 1 Maccabees 1 and 41. And it uh, says this, Moreover, King Antiochus, uh, for those of you who not in the know here, is in reference to Antiochus Epiphanes. He himself, who was arguably the wickedest man that ever lived, is a direct descendant of the line of Esau, Edom, and is where the so-called royal family of England today claim their lineage. It is under Antiochus Epiphanes that the Hellenized Israelites were held subject to the rule of the Greco-Roman Empire. Matter of fact, he attempted to kill every Israelite who refused to renounce the faith and their uh, commitment to the Heavenly Father, again by being Hellenized, i.e. bracing the uh, Greek culture. No different than what you see happening today. It is we Hebrew Israelites deep in the faith that are being demonized for our practice and our beliefs. We're the ones out here telling you that ultimately you're going to have to choose reverence to the Heavenly Father or giving way to your government and allowing them to turn you into an iPhone. Uh, we're not out here toting knives and, and guns. Or Our weapon is the Bible and prophesying what is written in the scriptures. It is the truth that is the major obstacle preventing these elite globalists from implementing their one world dictatorship and new world order. John 8 and 32, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall what? Make you free. The truth is the scriptures. And of all the uh, the Israelite groups out here, it is Great Millstone that has been the major proponent in waking the world to what is the true mark of the beast, the RFID micro C to the H to the I to the P. And I'm spelling it out only for the sake of the algorithm because of uh, YouTube's tendency to flag our videos. Let's go back to uh, 1 Maccabees 1 and 41. We'll, we'll start from the top again. Uh, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Again, another example of the, uh, the desire of the so-called white man, the white establishment, so you can understand. Uh, these verses speak to instituting the new world order, this time being revisited under Greco rulership. Uh, you know, I had to pull out, um, just going through this and just kind of pinpointing scriptures that I wanted to pull. I had to go to Isaiah 34 and 5. And so let's go there. And it says this, uh, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down unto Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Uh, Idumia is Greek for the name Edom, which proves the validity of, not only proves the validity of the Apocrypha, also proves that uh, Esau, Edom, the Idumian, Greco, Roman, British to American ruling classes are the same so-called white establishment of rule today. Uh, the people of my curse is speaking of Esau's curse of uh, leprosy, and we know that it, that goes back to Cain, the same mark received by him in Genesis as punishment for his uh, wickedness for killing um, our brother uh, Abel. That same spirit of Cain is reincarnated in Esau, Edom. Isaiah 34 and 6, the sword of the Lord Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Uh, Idumia, Basra is a people before it is a place just like Jerusalem is for uh, we Israelites. The sword of the Lord is the hypersonic and, well, the major sword. Uh, magnified is the sort of uh, is the uh, hypersonic and intercontinental ballistic uh, missiles. Salakia, yeah. uh, pulling from an article I found on the internet, it is what they call a. It is from an alternative news source, but I'll put the headline up in post and add the link to it in the description box. It speaks to Esau's plan to infiltrate all governments and set up a universal system of control under the guise of national. Uh, security and it's pretty much the premise of why I did this uh, lesson today, uh, and I'll, I'll just pick it up uh, in the middle of the um, the article, and it reads as, as follows: 
In 2017, Klaus Schwab posted that his organization had penetrated the Canadian government. New Canada joins the Dutch, Slovakia. now Canada joins the Dutch government in partnering with the WEF to develop a digital ID system, a core plank of the WEF globalist agenda. The, uh, here we go. The program seeks to create a digital proof of identity document for all citizens that is logged in a system used by airports, authorities, and government agencies, enabling the government and their overlords in Davos, uh, Switzerland to surveil and control ordinary people. Uh, details about the development of the federal digital identity program were revealed in the Canadian government's Canada's Digital Ambition 2022 report. Uh, there is a link to the report in the article for those who want to want to read it and dive in. Uh, the CV-19 pandemic highlighted the need for government services to be accessible and flexible in the digital age. The report published by the government reads, uh, now, without a shadow of a doubt, the CV-19 is the Trojan horse the uh, elite are using to usher in this, this agenda. Uh, the next step in making services more convenient to access is a federal digital identity program integrated with pre-existing provincial platforms. Digital identity is the electronic equivalent of a recognized proof of identity document. For example, a driver's license or passport and confirms that you are who you say you are in a digital context. The WEF's program is called Known Travel Traveler Digital Identity or KTDI which the organization boasts is the first global collaboration of its kind. <laughs> Imagine that. The uh, known traveler identity, sorry, digital, Salakia, digital identity or KTDI is a World Economic Forum initiative that brings together a global consortium of individuals, governments, authorities, and the travel industry to enhance security in world travel. The WEF's known traveler digital identity website says. And so yet, this is another step closer to implementing the MOTB uh, Mark of the B system. It won't be long before they make this offering mandatory to be coupled with banking, monetary, and uh, medical information, as well as your personal information and personal records of all kinds. Uh, let's go to Nahum 1 and 9, because despite Esau's best efforts, we know through the the truth, the uh, scriptures... The this we know exactly how the story ends, don't we? Uh, Nahum one and nine, and it reads, "What do ye imagine against the Lord, whose real name is Yahweh? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time, and that affliction is in reference to uh, Israel being ruled or the world over being ruled at the hands of Esau Edom. That will never happen again. The elite think they will institute their new world order and continue the rule after the uh, their great global." reset no matter how many babylonians rattle rally and uh rattle rally in a battle cry to make america great again it's it, it ain't gonna happen uh, esau's authority on earth has run its course and now it's time for jacob to hold his position as world leader under a system founded in righteousness uh, nahum 1 to 10 for while they be folded together as thorns uh, in the antiquity, thorns were bundled and folded together to be kindled for heat. And while they are drunken as drunkards, uh, simply put under the delusion of their wicked philosophies, uh, they shall be devoured as stubble, fully dry. By what? By that uh, same sword, earth that I alluded to earlier. By the uh, the hellfire that awaits them from the nuclear missiles. Uh, let's close with this because even though the elite are well aware of how this thing ends, I mean, they're setting up, um, when you go into the article, it speaks of these young leaders that they've set up long, long ago that all went to the same school and, and now they are heads, they are industry heads, they are in government, they are they are the manipulators and controllers of what we do say and how we, and, and supposedly how we think. And so, again, this is a long time running, but, um, I say that to say this, because the elite are well aware of how things end, he still will allow his pride to get the best of him. And they think that the, the, all this groundwork and legwork that they put in is going to actually uh, bring them the uh, desired result, but not so. Uh, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, let's go there. The whole chapter is good, but let's pick it up at uh, verse 13. And it reads, 
For he saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it, speaking to the evil acts he, Esau, has committed to bring about a new world order. And by my wisdom, for I am prudent, now, he believes he has done all of this by his own ingenuity and expertise when really Esau has received his power from the Heavenly Father who, because of his pride, he has never given or never will give his credit. And I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures. And an example of these uh, wicked acts he's committed, the Federal Reserve is one, uh, the IRS, especially what the IRS is doing now and what the government of uh, America is doing with the IRS and beefing them up. Uh, debt currency is another example. Student loans and the whole fallacy behind as soon as you get out of school, you're more than likely to get a job in the industry that you've paid all this money into. Not so. Uh, and, and loans left subject to accruing interest. Uh, those are examples of the wicked acts that he's committed as far as uh, robbing the treasures of, of the people. And I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man, meaning he has destroyed people and nations through his military might and his uh, deceit mentioned. Isaiah 10 and 14, And my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved the wing, or opened the mouth, or peeked. Uh, basically, what this says here is the world over was left subject to his military prowess. And I'm speaking, of course, again, Esau, Edom. And because of the power afforded to him, the other nations were forced to remain silent they couldn't do anything because of uh, his military powers uh isaiah 10 and 15 it shall the axe boast itself against him that heweth therewith or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood uh, simply put how can esau magnify himself against the very being that gave him the power he has used to wreak havoc against the earth the simple answer is he can't. <laughs> uh, Isaiah 10 and 16. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame. Kahala Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. I can see him coming in them chariots now. It's It's on. We're almost home, Yasharallah. And it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. In one hour will the kingdom of Babylon, a.k.a. America, fall. And Esau and his rulership will fall with it. Call halal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakaq, Kodash, to the power and spirit. I hope you edify. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of great millstone who teach 100% truth and rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Remember, no test, no yab, damn sure. Don't take that C-H-I to the P. Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom to the elect.